Today I'm doing this uh, sort of Cleopatra, sort of Egyptian queen makeup. I think it's great for Halloween. I don't have the straight bangs right now, so I'm just kind of faking it with this huge necklace right here. There's a lot of makeup out there doing uh, Egyptian queens or Cleopatra, but I wanted to do a little more uh, um, something that's closer to the actual Egyptian painting look so uh, I hope you enjoy and this I got the eye of Horus as well that's very optional you don't really have to do it but I think it's perfect and really fun for Halloween and just for your information I'm not a monolid um, I do have the double fold thingy there but I don't really have a crease so I'm faking it I was watching a lot of pictures of or statues of the Egyptian their face works and their kind of um, skull uh, and that how that affects the crease was very interesting so I really wanted to try it out so if you're looking something a little more Egyptian than just pretty makeup sort of Arabic sort of Egyptian I hope it helps uh, and enjoy okay let's start out I'm gonna begin with eyebrows this is a very inexpensive eyebrow pencil by the way I'm using the brown side I don't know how thick or dark I want my eyebrow to be at this point, so I'm just trying to outline a guideline sort of eyebrow and balance it out later with a black side. Really extend it and don't make the arch too high or pointy. You want the inner side to be kind of horizontal and flat even. Now I'm taking my base eyeshadow. It's a white color with a pale yellowish gold shimmer. Dab it all over your eyelids and also your brow bone. Also, don't forget to dab some under your eye. We are going to have very thick eyeliner under your eye, so we want that eyeliner to pop out. Now for creasing and contouring. I don't really have a crease so I'm faking this with actually a eyebrow powder. And see how I'm not creating an outer V high up there? I am really have my brush headed towards the end of my eye. Exactly where my eye ends. So normally if you were trying to create a smoky eye, I think you would want to try to make the outer V a little higher than that. But for this look, bring it down, bring it down. Now I'm taking my NYX yellow eyeshadow. It's a great eyeshadow. It's very high pigmented and you can see the yellow very clearly. It's a very matte color without any shimmers in there. Now I'm taking a copper color eyeshadow with a lot of glitters and shimmers in that. That's going to add on some of that glamorous look to look like a queen. Basically cover where you put your yellow. The fun time begins with eyeliner. First just start out with the width of your own eye. And then we're adding on a tail. Think of a tail rather than a wing. We don't want that pointed upwards like you would normally do with a cat eye. It's sort of like an extension of your upper eyelid. Don't bring it down too much, but don't think upward. Now for the under the eye. Because we want to make the eye look bigger, you don't really have to be that close to the 
lower eyelashes. I have a fold there. I don't have a clear inner corner. So if you have a clear inner corner, you can just outline that. And if you have a fold like me, you can fake it by doing that little triangle there. Yes, we want to make our eye look wider for this look. Now I'm gonna redefine my eyebrows with the black side. Now that I know what my eye looks like. All right, now mascara time. I don't even bother to curl my lashes. And now for the eye of Horus. This is very optional. Make sure that starts from the inner side of your actual eye or pupil. The bump on the shorter one is intentional. Now for fake eyelashes. Put on some glue. Blow on it to make it a little tackier. And bright red lipstick. Sorry, you can't really see. We're not aiming for a plump or voluminous lip. So try to keep it within your natural lip. And I'm trying to make the Cupid's bow very pointy. One last thing, can't forget the contouring with my bronzer. The Egyptians definitely did not look like my flat face hair. <laughs> Really make that cheekbone stick out. See the difference? So this is the finished look. I only have like a black and gold sort of tank top on here. But if you accessorize enough, I think it's more than enough you don't have that costume. And I think maybe, you know, uh, bundling up your old bed sheets and making you into a skirt might be interesting too as a Cleopatra sort of makeup. I would be really happy if there be any comments or opinions down below. Um, so till my next YouTube, see you!